What you are seeing here took place not long ago, just a few hours ago this morning in Jacksonville <laughs> where the Jaguars are reporting for training camp, and that is Jalen Ramsey, who has been told by the organization that he is not going to get a new contract, which he wants, and he arrived in an armored truck. Um, and so obviously this is going to be, I'm looking at Marcus's face, I'm, in, I'm seeing your he reaction. I'm just laughing the way you say it. Well, I've also known Tom Coughlin <laughs> a really disgusting. long time. Does everyone remember how red Tom Coughlin's oh. face looked in the NFC Championship game in <laughs> Green Bay that night? I think that as he watches that video, Tom Coughlin will turn an even brighter shade of red than that. What do we make of this situation, Booger, and more important, look at Marcus, it's hysterical. How's this going to end? Well, listen, he's a very, very good player. Uh, he's top five cornerback in the National Football League, and so if they want to uh, maintain his services, eventually they're going to have to pay him. Coughlin's trying to make a point right now because he can, because they still have the franchise tag and they don't want to give him a new contract. But, Greeny, you don't make a living in the National Football League getting rid of good players. He is a very good player. Hopefully he will mature a little bit faster so Coughlin, he can kind of meet in the middle. But right now, this is going to come to a head. Well, point. I mean, a, a mature faster. Is, is, is arriving for training camp in an armored truck a good step in that direction? That doesn't bother me because we've seen Antonio Brown come in with the purple and gold, uh, uh, black and gold Rolls Royce. We've seen Reggie Wayne come in with Mario Andretti. Like, all that doesn't bother me. What, what, what bothers me more is the relationship between he and the front office. They have to get that fixed. The arrival for training camp, this has become a stunt for social media. Who can do it the best. I'm sure somebody else is going to come in in something more fancier and flashier. He has to repair the relationship between his agent, him, and the front office. Why were you laughing like that, Swaggo? Because you look disgusted. He, I, I, he doesn't I, like it. Nah. it was, he doesn't like that. I, I, I can tell Green. And, and, and you know what? As crazy as it seems, I 100% agree with you. Tell me why. And, and I think this is different than any other person showing up how we've seen guys show up to training camp. One, because Jalen Ramsey stood in front of a camera and said he wasn't going to make a big deal out of not getting paid. So that's one issue. And then the second issue is they sucked last year. They were terrible. The Jags were terrible. Fresh off a year almost going to the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. they were terrible. So, and, and to Greeny's point, Tom Coughlin went into Jacksonville with a plan, and that plan worked year one. Now, obviously, they paid Blake Bortles, which was a terrible decision. My, <laughs> maybe could have gave Jalen Ramsey that, that money. money yeah. You get Nick Foles in. I thought, I thought the Jacksonville Jaguars were trying to quiet everything and be a really good team this year. I think this is a bigger issue than, ah. than him just showing up in the Brinks. I have no issue with it. I actually think it's yeah. kind of cool. Guys, pro athletes want to make a lot of money. Like, they want to get paid a ton of money. And when you're – one of the three best on the planet, you make sure everybody knows. Yeah. And so I got no issues with it. I, it is interesting because this is going to be a massive year for him. And we all know when athletes know that this is their contract year, you get their best performance. And Jalen Ramsey hearing from their, his team, we're not going to pay you this year. He's sending a very clear message to the Jags. I'm going to absolutely ball out this year. And you are either going to pay me or someone else will. I don't have any issue with him got, wanting to get a lot of money. That's what pro athletes want. I, 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 I would just say it this way. I don't have a problem with athletes tooting their own horn and making as much of a spectacle as they want to. It is fun. But when you don't back it up on the field, when your play doesn't mirror it, that's where, to me, it becomes tedious. It crosses a line into something that I don't like at all. And that, you made the right point. Their defense was terrible yeah, last and, year. And, they and quit I, on that season. I get that the quarterback made them all feel deflated. They're the number the one defense the day, in the NFL. They didn't, carry, it, they didn't carry that team where they could have They, last they year. weren't legendary and, and almost historical like they were in 2017, but they were still pretty good guys with, with really bad offensive yes. numbers. But, but, yes. but here's the – that to me, and he's a big. Not the point, though. The point is what Jalen Ramsey said is the point. True. Is that I'm not going to put focus on it being about a contract situation. Fine. Do what you want to do. Y'all know I'm for players. Like, if you can steal and put a gun to their head in the dark, do it. But at the end of the day, Jalen Ramsey said this. Mm -hmm. This was a play he decided to go. I'm more mature. He was on Shifty Podcast talking about, I'm going to tone down. I'm not talking that much. He changed his mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, he better, he better, he better like maybe Grant that, said, he better that, ball. <laughs> maybe that was toned down. He was going to have a bigger Brinks truck. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe.
to ESPN+.